today it's snowing and it's the perfect weather to finally film the video where a lot of you guys have been waiting for the review of my original German World War II M35 double decal SS combat helmet I'm really glad I finally have it in my collection it's just a beautiful piece of history I know you guys are smart people and I don't have to explain it but still there are always people who don't um, understand collecting so again no it's not because I like SS or anything like that it's just because I like the historical value of this helmet so no I do not support political parties or blah 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 I don't collecting has nothing to do with that so just to make that clear and uh, if you don't like this just click the video away right now because I'm gonna give you a close-up of the SS decal as well so yeah you have officially been warned okay so now it's time to talk about this helmet um, as you can see, it's an M35, 1935, Stahlhelm 35. Um, you can see that because of the vent hole is a separate piece um, and not stamped into the helmet. I've uh, explained that in another video. This helmet has two decals. Early in the war, all helmets had double decals, but later in 1940, uh, they had to remove the other decal because of camouflage purposes. And even later in the war, they weren't applying decals anymore, except for SS and police. So you can see really late war German helmets with still SS decals on it. But this is a very early one. It has the original apple green color. Um, yeah, beautiful shiny uh, paint, as you can see. Um, no texture at all. The decal itself is in almost mint condition. And um, yeah, this is a real combat helmet. You can see it's been used a lot, a lot of scratches and everything. It even has combat damage on the back of the helmet. I'm gonna show you that later. Um, and of course, I'm also wearing gloves. If we turn it around, we can see the decal with the swastika. It's basically the World War II period German flag. It's a red shield with a white circle and a black swastika in the middle. And the interesting about this particular one is that it's partly removed. Uh, that's because of the rules in 1940. They had to remove the decals on one side and um, yeah, it's just partly done. So most of the decal is still on there, but um, I actually like this because it's been done during the war and um, that makes it very interesting. So who knows why, maybe it was too lazy or it was like, okay, that's enough. Or uh, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty hard to remove these decals. So maybe it was in the field and um, something happened and he had to use his helmet again and he was like just you know forget about it I just leave it on there so uh, yeah it was probably too much work or he was like okay that's enough you know we don't know but it's it's very interesting it's still there and uh, yeah like I said these helmets are very expensive and especially when it's a double decal this is just a very iconic looking German helmet uh, we take a look at the back we can see the war damage right there don't worry I'm gonna give you close-ups later but uh, here's the war damage there's a small dent and a crack that's from here to here. It's a pretty hard hit. 
All right, to stick it out of the hat so we can take a better look at it, let's take a closer look at the SS decal. It's an ET type runic shield. ET is uh, the manufacturer, by the way, but as you can see, the decal is in almost mint condition. Look at that, guys. This right here is pure history. I still cannot believe that I have this helmet in my collection. Normally you would see this in a museum behind glass, but nope. We can touch it whenever we want. Now let me give you a close up of the party shield. As you can see, this has been partly removed. And of course, the vent hole, which makes this one an M35. A lot of paint has been worn off, as you can see on the top, because it's a real combat helmet. It's been used a lot. I really like these white spots, as you can see. You know what that is? In old houses, they had that white stuff on the ceiling. And um, this is definitely from walking inside houses, bouncing his helmet against the ceiling. I really like small things like that. You know, just every single scratch has his own story. Maybe this happened in 1939, this in 1944, that one 1943, who knows? We don't know what this helmet saw. What we do know is that this one was produced in 1939 because of the lot number. Let's take a look at the back. You can see all the rivets nice and tight. There's a small dent right there. There is a crack right there. Here you can see it. Maybe that happened when the soldier got killed. I mean, maybe a piece of shrapnel and the rest maybe just went into his back and uh, killed him. Who knows? We just don't know. Now let's take a look at the front. Still the original chin strap, the early one with the aluminum buckle. Let's take a look at the liner. Oh man, it's so scary to just hold a helmet like this because uh, it's making you shake. This helmet is already insanely special, but it makes it even more special because it's named. Right there on the front, it has a name in the leather. It says SS Usha Wimmer. So that means SS Unterscharführer Wimmer. And Unterscharführer is a, an SS rank. And then it says Wimmer, which is the name of the owner of the helmet. And it even has a name tag in the dome of the helmet. It's right there, but uh, it's been worn a lot, so we can't read that anymore. Probably his name and division on there. But uh, too bad it's all gone, but the paper is still there. So that's very, very cool. The leather is in pretty good condition still. Um, still has the original rope and liner size 55. The owner of the helmet had a pretty small hat. A lot of German helmets are very small. Just look at the paint, it's so shiny. It's also interesting, you can see the white spots right there. I believe that's spider poop, probably. Yeah, probably been sitting on an attic or something for a long time. Let's take a look at the stamps here. It says ET62. 62. 62 is the shell size. Then it has a lot number in the skirt. There it is. 4474. This helmet was produced in 1939. Chin strap is damaged right there. It's been used a lot, of course. Also, the chin strap is nicely marked. Dresden, a known place in Germany. Also, you can see it has the early aluminum liner band. This is square, typical for early helmets. Later, this was rounded off. And of course, uh, they weren't made from aluminum anymore. You can see the name again. And this is dark because of sweat and dirt. Oh man, it's so scary to move this helmet around. But look at that. And like I said before, I'm really happy I finally have this helmet in my collection. It's, it's an amazing piece of history. But you really have to be careful with buying original SS helmets because these are so hard to find. Most of the times they're fake or the liner has been replaced or has a fake chin strap or blah, 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 you know. There are just a lot of very good fake decals out there. So, you really have to be careful. Well guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.